the Armand's tight end event. Should you go for it? What do I think? Am I going to go for it? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So Armand's is the fusion for March of 2024. And all you had to do was collect the, uh, what do you call it? The fragments to fuse into Deathkeeper. And then you're going to fuse him into Armand's. And you had to do uh, events and tournaments. And now with the Festival Titan event, you have a chance at getting the perfect soul for Armand's. And that's going to be huge for somebody like Armand's. He's a magnificent champion. And if you were to get the soul for him... So for an example, if you were to get a 5-star blessing for Polymorph for Armand's, you would have a 15% chance of placing sheep. And this debuff does require accuracy, and it can be resisted, but you would get a boost to all of these stats. And this is a 15% chance to sheep versus just the 5 off a of 1. And then you get all these extra bonuses on top of that. Plus, there are other areas of the game, such as Centranos or um, Sand, uh, yeah, Sand Devil, uh, Phantom Shogun, and the Iron Twins that benefit from champions that have blessings. So that's kind of explaining the importance of blessings. And why I think that, it, you know, if you can go for it and you are willing to either micromanage and stress over it, doing, and the way to get the points is to do events and tournaments that are specially labeled. So if you want to do that, or if you're willing to just pay and not really worry about it, if, if, if you're a Kraken, or, you know, maybe if you're even in the end game, this won't be that hard for you. I'm already at 200 just because I did pull for Grand Oak Padraig. If you haven't seen that and you want to keep up with the timeline, go ahead and check out that video. But um, do I think it's worth going for the soul? Well, here's the thing. One, I'm a content creator. I'm a YouTuber. I, I make money off of my videos. So views and, and et cetera, all that, you know, regular YouTube stuff, I get paid for that. Two, this is a tax deduction. I'm a content creator for a raid. This is the business. And when I can bring you guys this kind of content, that's a tax deduction. So anything I spend in raid is a tax deduction. So anytime you see a content creator or anybody promoting to go for these FOMO events, because this is practically what it is. Polarium is just pumping out more events and tournaments that will kind of suck you in and try to make you pay. They're really good about it too. As much as I love Polarium and, or not, sorry, hold on, let me, I don't love Polarium. Uh, but as much as I love the game and I'm passionate about the game and the community, I just have to put out that disclaimer, give you guys full context and be 100% with you guys. I'm trying to say that I wouldn't be paying as much as I have been paying in Raid if I wasn't making money off of it. Uh, just, just so you guys are aware of it. So for me, in my position, my specific account, where I do get Armands, uh, I do think that I should go for the 5-star Blessing. Now, um, you know, the other thought crossed my mind... And it kind of reminded me of Mac Chan. Uh, Mac Chan, if you don't know, was another content creator for Raid, and he said something before he left Raid, where it was just like he had to spend uh, thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of dollars just to keep up in Raid. I'm not a huge PvP player, but I do know for a fact, for a fact, that if I go to if I if I go into arena and I go up against and I'm on Armands. That is a five-star blessing, more than likely, even though I have a Taurus and a Yumiko, for an example. Uh, I feel like they're they're starting to get power crept. You guys can let me know in the comments down below, but I, I think I'm going to be outclassed. There's going to be a point, and I think we're already kind of at that point where things are, are changing, where Taurus is no longer king, apparently. Like, King Narcissus is able to knock him out of the park now. The Titan event is making me feel like, dude, if I don't do these events... I feel like I'm not going to be able to keep up. I feel like I'm going to be left behind in a way, and I won't be able to provide you guys um, up-to-date content. I want to be able to provide this content to you guys, to share in this content with you guys, because I do love the game. I'm passionate about the game and the community. So um, me, I'm going for, for this. I'm going to do the events. I'm going to do the tournaments. I'm definitely getting this avatar because I'm, really, I'm like huge on avatars. I think I'm pretty well set. Just because I did kind of uh, pull shards and I did stockpile these shards and I'm going to replace all the shards that I've spent because remember I'm trying to see how many shards I would collect at the end of the year if I was only doing events free to play and uh, clan boss free to play. So anything that I um, did expend I'm just going to replace i.e. buying uh, and I have a, a notepad here keeping track of that. But yes, uh, so me... I'm going to go for it. 
because I, I do think it's it's worth uh, going for for my account. But for you guys, the average player, do I think it's worth going for? You know, let's go ahead and take a look at the blessings that are available. And let's see the sheep right here. I think maybe if you wanted to, you could be happy with going three or four stars. So I guess what I would be saying is that it, go as far as you can without stressing over it. If you're a casual player, stay casual. Don't be tempted to buy. Uh, you know, you'd be fine with even just a one star. Uh, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys, if you're just playing casually, doing your dailies, and doing everything uh, normally, then you would probably end up somewhere around like three or four stars, and I think you could be happy with that. Um, you know, three stars is probably what I would aim for if I was newer or free to play, so just keep that in mind. And just for the record, in case somebody might ask about blessings, on Hell Hades' website, it says here that if, um, if you're gonna get the blessing for him, or if you end up summoning a blessing for him, if you are looking to use them in Arena, Polymorph, if you're early game, Brimstone, because if Brimstone pops off, then you're able to uh, do some extra damage to like Hydra or whoever you're in, you end up fighting. Uh, if you get the 5-star Blessing, the Brimstone has a 60% chance to land and it's protected, so that's pretty cool. And then late game would be Cruelty, which basically decreases the defense of whoever you're hitting. Me, I think I'm going to mainly use them in Arena, so I'm going for the Polymorph just to uh, put more sheep in Arena because, you know, everybody loves sheep. But yeah, just remember, guys, do not compare your account to mine and, and try not to compare yourself to content creators. It's all for the views and it's tax deduct deductible for us. And, um, you know, for, for an example, me, I've been playing for five plus years. So if you're a newer player and you're like, oh, okay, you can do all this and you're, you're like, there's just, there's, there's, there's too much of an ocean of a difference between my account with my experience and you guys who are, who are newer uh, and maybe even free to play. There's just a huge uh, dissonance. So don't feel badly or don't feel any certain type of way when you see a content creator with their account. Just keeping that in mind, I, I want to make sure you guys are... Uh, grounded in reality because this is the reality of it and right now we're just going to go ahead and finish off Kafru so that we can go ahead and fuse our mons right here and now so there's that and let's just go ahead and do this by the way you don't want to do this I'm just going to do it just because uh, looks like we can do it. Okay, and there it is. So let's go ahead and fuse him. And we have our mods. There he is. Perfect. But yes, I do think he's he's worth it. Our mods is an amazing champion. I will end up coming out with a with a guide for him. He just seems to be part of the, the new meta, and he is the reason why my wife came back to raid. So yeah, shut up, Armands. <laughs> He's like...